Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this loaded surf and turf baked potato with a creamy garlic sauce. So let's get started with the video. Begin by cleaning three large potatoes and then placing the potatoes on a tinfoil covered baking sheet. Then coat them in olive oil and a bit of salt. When you finish coating your potatoes, place them in the oven at 400 degrees for one hour. Make sure your potatoes are done by piercing them with a fork. If you can easily pierce your potato with a fork and it goes all the way through, then your potatoes are finished cooking. Next, cut a thin layer lengthwise off the top of your potato. Then scoop the insides out into a large bowl. When you're finished, place the potato back on the baking sheet. Then repeat this process with the rest of your potatoes. Now mash the potatoes in the bowl. When you finish mashing your potatoes, mix in 4 tablespoons of butter. Then add 3 fourths cup of milk. and 3 fourths cup of sour cream. When you finish mixing in the sour cream and milk, add 1 teaspoon of salt, 3 fourths teaspoon of pepper, 3 fourths cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and a half a cup of green onions. Once you've added all of your ingredients, mix everything together until well combined. When you're finished, you can start filling the potato shells with the potato filling. When you finish filling your potatoes, all you have to do now is add cheese on top. I'm adding provolone and sharp cheddar cheese. Once you've added your cheese, place your potatoes in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes. Next, we're going to prepare the steak and shrimp. First, we're going to make the steak seasoning. In a small bowl, add half a tablespoon of seasoned salt, half a tablespoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of oregano, 1 8 teaspoon of brown sugar, 1 8 teaspoon of cumin, and 1 8 teaspoon of white pepper. Mix everything together until well combined and then set your steak seasoning to the side. Next, cut one ribeye steak into small bite sized pieces. When you're finished, place the pieces of steak in a bowl. Then coat the pieces of steak in olive oil.
Next, season them with the steak seasoning we prepared before. When you have finished seasoning the pieces of steak, set them to the side. Next, we're going to prepare the shrimp. Place eight to nine pieces of shrimp in a bowl. I've already cleaned, veined, and peeled the shrimp. Next, coat the shrimp in olive oil. Next, season the shrimp however you like. I season my shrimp with pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, Old Bay, and Paprika. When you have finished preparing the shrimp, set them to the side. Next, in a large iron skillet over medium heat, add olive oil. When the iron skillet is hot, add half your pieces of steak. The reason we're only adding half is because we're going to cook the pieces of steak in batches. This is so we don't overcrowd the pan. Sear the steak for one minute on each side. After searing your pieces of steak, remove them from the pan. And then repeat this process with the rest of the pieces of steak. When you finish searing the steak, add the pieces of steak you cooked before back into the pan. Then add 2 to 3 tablespoons of butter, 2 sprigs of rosemary, and 2 sprigs of thyme. Baste the pieces of steak in the butter and continue to cook it for about 1 to 2 minutes or until it is cooked to your liking. Once the pieces of steak have finished cooking, take them out of the pan and set them to the side. Next, add the shrimp in the pan and cook them for 4 to 5 minutes. Once the shrimp have finished cooking, take them out of the pan. Now that the steak and shrimp have been cooked, we're going to move on and make the creamy garlic sauce. Add 2 tablespoons of butter in the pan. Once the butter has melted, add 1 to 2 tablespoons of garlic. Saute the garlic for about 1 to 2 minutes. Then add 1 and a half cups of heavy cream. Let the sauce simmer until it starts to become thick. Once the sauce starts to thicken up, add a half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. Then mix in one tablespoon of lemon juice and season to taste. I only added 1 4th teaspoon of pepper to the sauce because I didn't feel like it needed any more seasonings since it already had the leftover seasonings from the pan. The sauce already tasted really good by itself, but like I said before, season to taste. Once you have finished making the garlic sauce, you can go ahead and assemble your baked potato. Your baked potato should have finished cooking in the oven by now, so all you have to do is plate it up. First, add some pieces of steak on top, then add some shrimp. Place some broccoli on the side.
then add some parsley. And finally, pour the garlic sauce on top. And this is the finished result! This was so, so good. The steak and shrimp were well seasoned and cooked perfectly. The sauce tasted great and made the baked potato even more delicious. Overall, this baked potato was delicious. 10 out of 10 would totally recommend. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!